is The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo, dramatised for radio by Alex Bulmer and developed in association with Grey Eye, the innovative disability-led theatre company. Hugo's original tale is a graphic and sometimes disturbing story of medieval Paris. Quasimodo is deaf as well as hunchbacked. Esmeralda is treated like a pariah because she is Romany and life in medieval Paris is brutal. This new version stars David Bauer, a leading deaf actor, as Quasimodo. The play opens as he climbs up his bell tower high above Paris. Beautiful day. Beautiful city. My city. True glory. Brick on brick, my people stand. Disciples of time. Good morning, you towers. Fathers of the sky. And good morning, you sons. Chimneys puffing. Little river. Round you go. Round you go. You, Paris, my true friend. Crow. Welcome to my lady of Paris. Fly! To fly like you beyond my tower, beyond the bridge, a place where secrets live. And you know them, see them all. Fly! The sky has no walls. <coughs> you all right? Slipped. Here, I, I got two. Thank you. One for you. One to put over your brother. What's a dead man need with a blanket? It's about respect, Carlo. Here, hold this end. You go to his feet. He's tall. Grabbed the biggest there was. You shouldn't be bloody lying here. I don't deserve this. Your brother was a kind man. Both of you have been looking after me since we come here. Oh. Don't look at his face. Oh. I kicked his bloody head in. Oh. People. Coming out to... The day. Little ants crawling to the streets. <laughs> Move quickly. More come. And more. Mask on your faces. Holding fire. In the air. I've seen this before. Fools. Fools. The festival of fools. He wasn't doing nothing. Three guys said he ran off with their money. They kicked him and kicked and 
kicked. I'm sorry. They wouldn't stop. Just laughed and kicked. He never did nothing. Honest, nothing. Master. Master. Cosimodo, did I not tell you I was busy for the morning? Yes. All excited. Forgot. What is it? It's, it's sunny outside. Well observed. Think it will rain tomorrow? What a pity. We should get some fresh air. Uh, stand in the tower. The festival. The festival of fools. What of it? Today. Can we go? No. But you said we could. I don't recall. Last year. Last year, you said we could go next year. I have a sermon to finish. When you finish, I'll need the day. I'm sorry. I want to dance. Go round fire. With a funny face. I'll get you a festival mask at the end of the day. Don't want another stupid mask. I want... We're not going to the festival. Why? Sinners and demons have entered the city, infecting the people. Sinners and... Demons, yes. They come from foreign places, infested wombs, brainwashing our people, determined to bring grave destruction to our city, to Notre Dame. Be not afraid. Good will rise over evil. Sometimes we must fear. There is nothing to, to fear. God will protect us. Well, God can't do everything. Son, there are times man must fear. And when we do, man must take appropriate action. On God's behalf. Appropriate action. Stay inside the cathedral. That is where you are safe, and that is where you are useful. I'll tell you when we can go outside. When will that be? Once the king has the intruders dismissed. Then we go to the festival. Look, no more questions and n no more festival. Now, it's nearly bell time. Which will be your favourite this morning? Mary. Always Mary. I'm proud of you. You have no need for the outside world. Go. You need to keep warm. I can bring you back food once I have money. Don't worry. <coughs> Just bread. To keep you for a day or two. Mary! Time for your powder. Oh, I see a big round fuzzy. The lacered man. Riding the bells like there was some sort of wild beast. Been doing that for years, love. Lizard man! Fall to your death, you will. Hey, you know, 
know. Good fool might just flatten that awful hump he's got. Don't be wishing the poor thing more harm. You like his hump? It ain't his fault. We both knew we were born that way. Didn't get better looking with age. Oh, look at yourself someday. I will. Take a priest. He'll read you the last rites when you die of shock. Barman. Hair of the dog. Right away, Captain. The festival looks better through the bottom of a pint glass. Day of pleasure or serving your king and country? Both. Any good soldier should manage both at one time. Without your lieutenant this morning. Lieutenant the Duke is finishing a messy job. Romanist? Yep. Two of them, under San Martin Bridge. Ran out of the putty shower with about 30 francs. The Duke tracked him down. One man dead, one got away. Paint of the best. This one's on me, Captain. Mm. To dead Romanies. Dead Romanies and new beginnings. Mm. Oh, 30 days' time, yours truly becomes a completed man. A bit young to retire. Taking a wife, tying the knot, but rest assured, the knot around my finger will stay loose. Captain Phoebus de Chateaubras will not be hanged on his wedding day. Mm. Josette, you look strong today, next to your older sister, Marie, and Elizabeth did well. All of you did well. Look, the people, look up. They see how beautiful you are. They see how strong I am. Yes, look up, in praise of our glory. Hallelujah! Hear our prayer. Paris will be saved. Notre Dame will be delivered from evil. Sinful hearts will not trespass against us. Amen. Little people, look up! For God, man must take appropriate action. For my father, I take action. Fresh bread! How much for a stick? How much you got? Nothing, not yet. A couple of hours singing and I will. Can you save two sticks for me? Can't promise ya. Planning to pay or just beg for your food? I'll come back later. Sure your mates under the bridge didn't slip you a few spondoolies? What do you know of them? So you come up from there. Friends of yours? Yes. Got very bad manners. Walked off when we was having conversation. So take the hint. Hint? Gypsy girl playing coy. Did the boys from the bridge pay well or was it mates' race? Get for you, pig! Oh, fiery little thing. I'll slice my balls off you don't let go of me, I swear I will. Fun for an hour, you'd be all fired off. Like the look of this blade, do you? Ladies and gentlemen, she's feisty, that one. Stupid bastard! Get your money's worth out of her. Nothing but trouble! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! None of your business. See, don't like your kind. The king and his men, the people of Paris, don't upset them. I'm alive. That's enough to upset them. They'll use you as an example and it won't be nice. Believe me. You're not safe out here on your own. You're not safe. Like I have a choice. You're taking a big risk. <laughs> Hope you gave her a right good piece of your mind. Go home, you locusts from Spain. <laughs> I think she's from Poland. Go home, you locusts from Poland. <laughs> Be not afraid. People, sinners, and demons. <laughs> On your knees and listen to me. Angry people, you will not stay in Paris. Foreign people, you will not stay. Shuka Sasomari Bori Siata Pavoy Lenny Rashki Choyer Soskeria Kere.
And I say again, look to the scriptures. No man need seek instruction beyond the word of God. And no word beyond that which God has given will be held as truth. Look, therefore, to the com- oh. distraction. Um, l- look, therefore, to the commandments as you seek wisdom. Beware of those who... Beautiful. Distraction. Distraction. Divine. Impossible. Who possesses such magnificence? Well, that was it for me. <laughs> Once bitten, twice given up. Whatever you want. Good to. morning, gentlemen. Ah, Mikkel, satisfaction. Job done, satisfaction guaranteed. Good lad. Pour this man a lager. On me wick. Used to start my day slicing back bacon. Think I prefer slicing gypsy. <laughs> I used to seeing you fellas out of uniform. Day off, do a little sightseeing, enjoy some of the festival's finer talents. Oh, enjoy. But like Captain, take a wife. Some fine looking opportunity out there, Phoebus, my friend. Too bad you've gone out of business. Correction, Mikkel. I'll never be out of that business. <laughs> Clark! Archdeacon, sir? Who has allowed females to... to, to exhibit themselves on cathedral grounds? The festival is on the street, not consecrated grounds, That sir. noise! Who is responsible? It's the Festival of Fools, sir. There are hundreds of Romanies down there. Females. Uh, send a memo to the palace. No females shall trespass on or near the church. Yes, sir. I'll investigate the matter myself. Give the bell ringer his food. Tell him I'll be outside Notre Dame for the afternoon. He is to stay in his cell. And the time of your return? Um, tell him I'll be back for bells at six. Consider it a career move. <laughs> Right. Phoebus is a born leader, a born fighter. It's in my blood, the army. But marriage? I seek higher office, so I do what it takes to get it. Only a fool would turn down this chance to marry. You call it a chance? My fiancé is the second cousin to the King's general. Second cousin? Mm. But why don't you just marry the general? Woman, your fruit is poison. Archdeacon, sir, the bell ringer, he's gone. The watchman thinks he's left the cathedral. Dear God, they'll kill him! King! Hey, King! Stop! Get back, all of you, back! Cosimodo, take off the crown. Put the shield down. Now! Now! Come on, move on over. Show's over. Come on, all of you. Move. No! Father! Cosimodo, leave. Leave him. I said move on. The whole lot of you. Move now. Move, go! Was the motor by my side? Father, I'm sorry. Please. You never go outside without me. Do you understand? Never without me. 
understand. We go back to cathedral. Not yet. Come. Stay close by my side. I hurt your father. Never hurt father. Never hurt him again. Never. Step aside, please. There's two of us. If you don't like the look of him, I suggest you look away. I hope this one's a step up from that last bird. She had some redeeming qualities. Yeah, had the face of a saint, a Saint Bernard. Testing, Mikel. Testing. <laughs> you take some free advice from your good lieutenant, must I? You see, keeping a wife, yeah, is like telling a joke. Uh, explain. Well, did you hear the one about the happily married man who walked into a bar? No. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> no more. Yeah, it's exactly what you'll get. No more. <laughs> Well, he'll leave you so soon, Captain. Got better things to do than to be insulted. I'm joking, mate, joking. Low class humour, obviously beneath my taste. Oh, those be fighting words. A contest is what you're after. Fine, fine, let's take this outside. Mikel, I will not raise my sword to you. Sword? No, 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 no. You called it, Captain. This is a contest of taste. Ha! <laughs> An easy win. 24 hours. You against me, my friend. Let's just see who bags the finest pickings. No contest. <laughs> They look at me, fear in their eyes, like my face might blind them, like I am something contagious. Quasimodo, stay close. Father never has eyes of fear at me. He sees me, the only one. Come. Oh. Mikel, the dancer. I'll have that. Oh, good luck, frosty little witch. Oh, she is a beauty. Dancing. Foreigner? Here. Quasimodo, stay. Hide your face. Don't let her see you. Foreign girl. Raven hair. Those lips. Yes. Infested room. Stronger than ale, sweeter than honey, intoxicating ring of money, money, money. Thank you. Thanks. You composition of sin. Something to put in the drum? No? Bye then. Sorry you didn't enjoy the show. Uh, well, wait, I. Uh... It's fine, I'll move on. I haven't finished. It's fine, let go, please. Come with me. Let Dancing go. Girl. Lady child, I will give you your word. Father no. is angry. Stupid man. Dancing girl, you are hurting Better be father. A old devil. Enough. I will protect father. Take girl away. Stop. Enough. Get off. Get off. I'll slash your head. Let her go. Give me the girl. Infested! Now, let her go! Master! Now! Father! Quasimodo, let her go! I, uh, I have to go, follow me. Father! Police guards, grab that thing! This is spit me! Get him down! Kicked! Oh, <laughs> Big man stands over me! Oh, no! Oh, his face? No, I'm, I'm okay. You're with me now, you're safe. Yeah, thank you. The big man. He put arms around her. She doesn't scream. Screams only for me. Your arms feel so good. You feel so good. Want to sit down? I'd like you to hold me. Just a minute. I see your mouth. Of course. You know what you say. You must, you must be. You tell people what to do. And they listen. Yes. Ah. Oh, your shoulders. I'm, I'm afraid he's drawn blood. I think we best clean you up. My necklace. Big man. What is it like to be you? My, my bead's gone. I'll look for the monster. Take You're care. You're good. I should go. I'll be fine. Thank you. Wait, but... Congratulations, I... Captain. What for? Your prize. 
She's gone. I lost the girl. True. Well, look what you pulled. A what faced troll with a hump. <laughs> I think I win the contest. I think I'd rather win the girl. After a good meal. No, 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 no. A horse stepping on a knot. You're close. Good afternoon, oh. gentlemen. Good afternoon, afternoon Captain. Captain. Took the judge about one minute to make a decision. Longer than usual. Get the wretch from his cell, take him to the pillory, he'll get 50 lashes. Yes, sir. Drag him through the square for mm, 10, 15 minutes and leave him on display when the whipping is done. Added value for the public. Nice one. Lord Jesus, son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb God, do not take bells from me. Isn't it queer? Been on his knees the old time. The archdeacon man wants to see him. God's squad. Fine. He needs all the help he can get. <laughs> Do not sit down. To feel my beautiful Mary. See birds fly to my tower. To see my city. God. To see my father. Never again will I leave Notre Dame. Two minutes. Quasi murder. Never again will I leave my father. Never will I hurt another. Only hurt myself. Never will I hurt my father. Son. Master. I'm sorry. I stay with you. Come with you. I am here for a short time. I, I, I come with you. No, sir. Please. I'm sorry. You will go with the soldiers. No. My child, you do not understand what you've done. I do bad things. You bring shame to us, to Notre Dame. Did I not tell you to stay inside? Did I not say... There was danger. Yes! No one is safe, especially not you. The people despise you, hate the sight of you. I'm sorry, you belong behind the walls of the cathedral, and that is where you must stay. You must not shame Notre Dame. Shame? No. You want that I die? No. I want that you die. I want to protect us. Protect Notre Dame. <laughs> A bloated dwarf. <laughs> Good one. Go with the soldiers. Do exactly as they say. As they say. Quasimodo? Is there a Mr. Quasimodo? <laughs> Father, you come. I have important work. No, I must. Father, you pray for me, please. Of course. Snap it up. Time's a-wasting. 
I will see you this evening. Thanks for your visit. It means so much. If you speak to him, he needs to see your face. Your face. Forgive me. Come on! Get out of the way! Come on, will you? Hold him, hold him! Hold him! I'm free. One, two, one, see. Whoa. Whoa. He's not featherweight. You need to eat your vegetables, Griffin. Down you go. Arms out, mate. On my knees. They take my shirt off. I let them feel buckles across my legs. Jeans on my feet. His arms are like trees, man. More buckles on my wrist. They open my arms as if I am to fly. As if I have wings. Deacon up there. Well, at least he kept the lizard alive all these years. I made a slave of him, that's what oh, he's hey, look, done. Over there, street rat. Good thing you come, witch. You're up next. Know what you're thinking, love? Doubt it. He's the only one, Duck. Don't go thinking you've got the law on your side. I don't know what I think. No one else would get punished like this for grabbing you, so don't go thinking. Who are you? Some call me the mother they never had. People are cruel. No offence, love, but having it go at you ain't no crime, unless you're that poor creature. These people hate him. Not me. Known him since he were a baby. Got left outside Notre Dame. The way he looks, has he always? From the day I saw him riddling across the steps, a back twisted round itself, a head that barely makes it past its shoulders, and teeth that look like they want to escape his face. And then he went deaf and all. The man can't hear. Not a word. But they say he can watch your lips and know what you say. He needs water. If I were you, I'd make myself a 
of interest to them soldier fellas, so they'll look after you, you know, keep you around. He needs water. If you speak to him, let him see your face. Making friends with a jippo. I'm just asking a few questions. Yeah. Elizabeth might bite her face off. Then it's bon voyage to your pretty new recruit. She'll come good. I know these girls. What's she doing? He needs to drink. Back, Romany. Get no down. one gets on the pillory. He'll die. Get he needs down. water. Make it quick. Just give him water. So, water for you. Drink. I have water for you. You must survive. You've come this far. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I have no more. Dancing girl. I hurt you. And you hurt me. Think... Think that makes you an angel. Blessings to you. Miss? Wait, Miss? The man. The big man. Again. I see him talking to the angel. See him. His face. Watch what he says. Young girl. Hello, dancing girl. Wait. Angel. Are you kind to the big man? Or is it just for me? For me? Oh, I thought you were never going to slow down. There's so much shouting. You don't remember me? Yeah. You didn't recognize my voice? Yeah. You didn't stop or turn around? What am I doing now? Right. A uniform. Are you a soldier? Second regiment to his majesty. Captain, in fact. That's terrific. See you later. Wait! How are you? Your, your, your shoulder? Fine. You? Good, yes. Here. Your beads. I think I found them. You found these? Yes. Close to where we stood yesterday. Are, are they yours? No. Well, they're yours now. You helped me. Should be me giving you something. That sounds like a rule. I don't like rules. Okay. Thanks. Don't like talking, do you? Sometimes. That thing on the plank, you gave it water. I gave the man some water. Why? Pretty thirsty. You should have a pretty big drink. But he tried to... Uh... Someone said I don't like rules. Are you always this clever? Mm, usually. Are you always this curious? No. Well, what's funny? <gasps> oh, this necklace you found. Strangely, it says Chantel's Boutique. <laughs> <laughs> says I know the name of the beads. Should know the name of the giver. Phoebus. Phoebus de Chateaubras. Phoebus? Yes. The sun god. Excuse me? Oh, it's been good to meet you, Phoebus. But you must tell me. What's yours? Sounds like a rule. Please, your name, please. Tell me. I'm sure it is beautiful. Oh, are you? My name is Esmeralda. Oh, right. You see, I was right. It is beautiful. It is very nice to meet you too, again, in fact. Would you... How would the idea of another meeting sound to you? Oh, it sounds like half a question. Would you meet me again, Esmeralda? Friday? In two days? How about tomorrow? 7.30 on the Pont Saint-Michel. Phoebus. God of the sun. At Lafayette. I don't know this place. Le Le Go to the tavern, turn right across the bridge. Wait. You haven't answered my question. Tomorrow, 7.15. Fine. Absolutely, sun god. Angel girl. I watch you go. Watch you walk away. Your raven hair. Swinging gently. I watch you and I wish I don't understand. 
I don't want to be me. I want to be the big man. No man will have her. Oh. Quasimodo, you could see their faces, read their lips. I need to know. Couldn't see all of it. Why not? Upset. Felt confused. Please, T try. What do you think they said? They, they meet tomorrow. S -s -s Seven something. Where? A place. Madame La La Lafayette? That, yes. No, that what did look quiet. Sure. Father. Quasimodo. I have taught you many things. I have given you words. A hand to write. I have given you the duty of the bells. Yes. And you have been faithful. I have taught you, beware those who fear and do not understand you. I have taught you, fear and obey the Father. But have I taught you love? To love God. No, son. Feelings, needs, every waking moment, every instant. Feelings? Um. A glimmer of light in the dark solitude of being, a, a sense that Someone lives for you, would die for you, desperately loves you. Glimmer of light. Yes, have I taught you this? Have I spoken of it? Have I? No. No, no, I can't teach what I don't know. I need love. To do God's work, I need true affection. The softness of a woman's skin. The warmth of her body under mine to be touched. The girl. The dancing girl. Yes. We must find her. No, no. No, she is a serpent. A venomous serpent. She must come nowhere near to me, to these walls. Love is a sickness on her. A pitiless disease. I watch you from the tower and protect you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Watch. Protect. Every day. Look to watch for her. Do not leave the tower until I tell you. I will. I start now. Now. No man will touch her. Mikhail, sorry I'm late. The usual, Captain. Please, put it on my tab. Would you financially challenge tonight? Whatever you say, Captain Phoebus. Get an answer. It's a definite from the king. Romanies to go, every last one of them. We live in a good world, my friend. Got 30 days. 30? To chuck them out? To leave or they get our friendly late night visit. A slice and dice special. Looking forward to it. Thought you might. More dirt. More stains, even in the cracks in the wall. <sighs> Female. Our fever is shared. 
the poison walks the pathway with the cure together. No, no, it cannot be true. You know your duty is to me. I've seen it in your eyes. You know this. Stains. You know. be true. A whore. No. Prove to me you know I must see her again. Now. Oh, her eyes. I must cure this sickness. No man will have her. No other man will have her. What a lovely wedding present, Captain. 30 days, no more lager and chips dinner, and no more gypsies. Life gets complicated, Mikel. What? Simple. They leave, they live. They don't, they die. Barman, change my mind. A whiskey. Might just get that promotion you're after without selling your soul at the altar. Enough with the marriage jokes, Mikel. Get me? Quiet night. Too quiet. When will you come again? Another day. Past and not a sign of you will it. Like this night, I feel dark and empty. What Come to your cell and have your tea. Not hungry. Come to your cell. I cannot leave the tower. The archdeacon has asked that you go back. To I need to speak to him. You can't. I need to. Do as I say and come. No. What's on the table? Huh? And she did it again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, might I borrow some money? I, I've costs to cover for my next. No, no, can't do, friend. See you. Good night. The archdeacon has left for the evening. No. Where has he gone? I can't say. I need to find him. The cathedral is locked. You can't get out. He isn't safe. <laughs> I am sure he is, child. I am not a child. Captain Phoebus de Chateaubourin. Who are you? You have an appointment, 7.15, at Madame Lafayette's. Name yourself. Ugh, who I am is of little importance. Tell me the name of the one you will meet. None of your business. A boy? <laughs> Draw your sword. Please, I ask for nothing more than a name. Step out of the shadows, man. Show yourself. My sword at your head. Show yourself. You know who I am. The hood. Remove it. <laughs> Archdeacon. I come with a spiritual matter. Explain. Uh, a confidential matter. I ask for a name and nothing more. What's it worth to you? Oh, priceless. Money is of no consequence. <laughs> Stick to the church, you'd make a lousy gambler. Go on. A name for 20 francs. Here. Please. A name. Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Take me with you. For another ten francs? Here. Here's twenty. Hide me in some corner where I can't be seen. My, my, the church has moved on. Come along. You can listen, but you can't watch. Watching is forty francs. I'm not standing here all night with your dinner in my hands. Leave me alone! Leave me! Fine. Here, suit yourself. 
Your behaviour will be on my next report to the Archdeacon. No! Hello? Over here. You're going to toilet if you go that way. It's very dark. Well, well, look who's here. Finally taking my advice. You? Is this... Uh, Lafayette's, yes. Have you come to work? No, I'm meeting someone. <laughs> That's a new one. Maybe he's changed his mind. <laughs> Pretty thing like you. Doubt it. Who are you meeting, Doug? A man. <laughs> Is that so? In a uniform. Oh, that's a new one. <sighs> I'll wait outside. Now, he's here. And let me tell you, he's a captain. Know what that means, Duck? Protection. Play your cards right and you won't never need worry about a thing. Which way? But don't go getting all lovey-dovey for him. A few weeks' time, there'll be gold shining from his finger. And not for you. Just tell me where he is. Down the hall, seahorse room, second door on the right. Uh, mind my cat. She sometimes sleeps by the door. Mind the table. Ah! Sorry. Not a sound, Captain. You have my word. Fine. Here, take my sword. I'll need my hands for other things. Hello? Come in. I oh, wasn't sure this was the right... You! Look at you. Let me drink in your beauty. Oh, heaven. What have you sent to me? I'm glad to see you. No, 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 no. I'm so glad to see you. I'm... So glad you are here. Interesting taste, Captain. Mm, wanted somewhere private. No interruptions, even for just... Shall we sit? Yes. Come. It's very dark in here. And not for long. Your beautiful smile will brighten the room. Does God know he's missing an angel? <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny? I'm sorry. You make me laugh. I'm not sure it was intended. No, oh, no, it's a good thing. I like it. And look at you. What do you see? A beautiful girl. So young and exotic. Those eyes, tell me what you see through those gorgeous, dark eyes. I see you, Captain. Do you see how I adore you? Tell me. I do. From the minute I saw you dancing outside, your hair so black over your pretty round shoulders and so soft, Esmeralda. You, so strong, strong face, strong bones, Phoebus. Oh. To hear her speak your name brings acid to my tongue. Stop, this is not, not the will of God. Your mouth. Yes. All of you. Yes. I'm falling in love with you. No, love me, Phoebus. Give me pleasure for this one night, but do not fall in love. Why? Only now. You have no feelings for me. I do. Then fall. It's impossible. It isn't. I've learned to love for the moment, and I love for this moment. Love me? Yes. I want to see you again. Touch you again. There is no again. There must be. Now, Phoebus, only now. Now. Consider it a wedding present. No man will have her. No man will have her. No man will have her. Yes. By your own sword, die! 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 die. You! Are you? You free of him. Come, come, our destiny. No, kill me. Come, come on. Miranda, our last chance. Come, please. Why? Why? Oh. Murder! Murder! Paris. Your night, empty and black. When will you come again, dancing girl? Someone who needs you, loves you, 
someone to live for. Serpent, I've swallowed your venom. Your word father said, thickness. Angel, trembling souls, a glimmer of light, true affection, you. Faces on the street. Early hours. I read lips of their words. From vestments where I hide. Hidden. Disguised. Like listening. Like disguise. Paris is cold. Well, it's winter. Paris is always cold in the winter. Paris is cold because Paris mourns. He was just a soldier. He was a fine-looking man. Killed by a Polak. She was not a Polak. Well, an Oriental. You, woman, are in need of your powder. She was a Romany, a gypsy. And today she will be tried. Killing one of our own. A fine-looking man. I think you're not in need of powder, but you've taken too much. <laughs> See how you're frothing the mouth at me, mention of a mouth. Then I climb. Climb. Morning bells are favourite now. Before Paris awake. Shadows make business. Mist. Fog. It's best now. Disguise. Paris. Disguise. Serpent. Disguise. Then I ring. Ring. Begin ring. Stop with my ring. Good day, your lordship. There is nothing good about a day when one is roused early and prevented from one's rest and nourishment. <laughs> but I must ready you for trial. And this day will be a trial, officer. Of that, there is no doubt. And then, stop! Bells, stop! 
mind cold. I realize my reading from faces in the street. A murder trial. Murder me. I am to be stuck here all day. I know it. The murder of a captain. Captain Phoebus de Chateaubois. A pretty name. Did he die valiantly? The accused is a young gypsy girl. He did not. Shall I bring the accused in, your lordship? I said I was not to be disturbed. I? Me? Father? If I am contemplating silence, it makes no difference to the instruction, I must not be disturbed. Yes. Today, gypsy girl, trial. Who? What? One I steal for you tried. She gave me water in stocks. I read lips. Broken women, old. Talk of trial. Romilly, today. I misunderstand. No, you understood correctly. She killed an officer in the King's Guard. It is a serious crime. She is good. Could not kill her. Good. And what would you like me to do about this information, Quasimodo, her intrinsic goodness? Is there someone for me to inform of this? I... I... I don't know. No. You don't, do you? Tomorrow, I bury the man she killed. I have a sermon to prepare. I'd rather you leave me be. Yes, Father. Read out the charges. <clears throat> Esmeralda, on the night of the 27th of January, you did knowingly prostitute yourself to and then murder Captain Phoebe. There is a fly in my courtroom, a fly in February. I've never heard such nonsense. Does she attract... Do you attract flies, mademoiselle? No. Good. Are we going to present evidence? She was found with a murder weapon and caught, your lordship. Was she? Oh, my dear, that's damning evidence. May I speak? If you must. I loved him. Loved Phoebus. I could not hurt him. I would not hurt him. He was my flame, my... my... This girl talks prettily. It was another man. He was hiding. He came out of the closet and stabbed Phoebus. And he climbed out of the window and ran away. Pretty nonsense, but pretty all the same. She had his blood all over I am not guilty of this crime. I could not be. I have harmed nothing. I am not guilty. Of course not, my dear. It was the man hiding in the wardrobe with the kitchen spoon. <coughs> guilty. She is guilty. No. 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 La Esmeralda, you will be hung by the rope until dead. You are men. You are wrong. I am not a murderer. I am not. Take her to the cells. I have no time for this. You will die with my blood on your hands. What are you doing, Gwilym? <laughs> I'm holding my breath, George. Well, I can see that, but why? To see how long I can hold my breath for. How long? About a minute and ten. I wager you I can hold my breath longer. Wager me what? Fortnight's latrine duty. You are on. Are you set? I am. Three, two, one. <laughs> What are you two doing? <sighs> sir, hold in breath, sir. Sir, nothing, sir. I should know not to ask. The prisoner is ready to be escorted to the gallows. Sir. sir. So, does, does that make it a tie, or what? Requiem eternam dona eis, domine.
et lux perpetua luceat eis. My name is Lieutenant Mikhail Leduc. I am here to tell you of a brave soldier and captain. I fought with Phoebus, sat with him. He was a great friend and a great fighter. His loss, for which we are gathered here today, is not just for his friends, his fellow soldiers, his betrothed, but it is also a loss for Paris, for France. Better take you to the gallows. Have you a powder? A pill? A sword? I do not wish to be made a spectacle in the square. It is time. And I would... It is a job to escort you to the place where you'll be hanged, madam. It is more than our lives are worth to do different. Then you are limp indeed, you two, are you not? Requiem eternam, donna e domine. Et lux perpetua... Luceat e requiescat in pace. Amen. Amen. Paris. Alive. Like less. Square. Full of waiting for execution. I see one child dressed in orange. His father carries him shoulder back. He looks as if Paris was beauty. It is not. They were blood. I am afraid for them. Clothing. You refuse my request. Do not pity me now. As you prefer. Murderer! Murderer of the finest man. How dare you? How... Oh. Don't spit. Gentlemen, don't. If you will not let us sue, we will use our muskets. Up looks child. Up. And up. He sees me. And then Esmeralda is dragged through the square by rough soldiers. Esmeralda, my. I watch. I wait. This crowd is unbearable. I'm tying the noose tight here to your death will be as painless as possible. I make my play fast. Sin fast. This rope is not easy to work with. Your hands are shaking, that's why. My hand. Steady. Stone. Cold. Rough. Hands bleed. Quick as scan. Two men round her. Tying her badly. I. Crowd of screams. So loud, I can hear screams. I grab her. She tries to resist. No! No! Please! Throw her over my arm and climb. You're away. She's out. Come on. Swimmed. The rough walls of cathedral provide holes where I need holes. I go up and up and. Where do you think you'll take her? I never trusted that man. It's his face. A crooked body breeds a crooked mind. I reach balcony. Look, a crowd, and say, Sancta 
Sanctuary! 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 Faces stunned. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Stunned. I feel power! The clan inside church and gone. George, are you okay? My nose is bleeding, but that's nothing compared to what's going to happen when the sergeant finds out. He came from nowhere. Like a bat. I put it down. Careful. Her face, her face flushed. Mouth mute. Body soft. She is faint red. My hand's not gentle enough. She wakes. I... I keep me in shadows. Don't want faith to frighten her. What is this place? The cathedral. Why am I here? What is this screwed hell? I look on her lips. Try read them. Her lips say... What's, what says she? I am to be your prisoner now. Have I understood correct? What will you have me do? Answer me. Can't you understand me? She is... Angry. This will not do. You stand in the shadows, you speak not. I would rather hang than be kept whore. I will throw myself. I will throw myself from this window. I will not be your prisoner. She tries to uh. climb window. Four. Why would she try to... No. Uh. No. No, no. Do not take me against my will, sir, for you will regret it. I am a Romany. I bear curses. Uh. Stay. Still. You do speak. Stay. Still. And I can see your face. It is well, the man in the stocks. Have I remembered correctly? I, I fright you. Why am I here? Do you understand me? I need to know why I'm here. I cannot understand. You speak quick. I am deaf. Oh. She moves her face so opposite my face. She moves her lips slow. So I understand. Why am I here? They want to kill you. I did not want that. You save me? Yes. Thank you. She looks me until it's too much. Too much. Her eyes soft. I I need to. I I, I will return. You, you knew Captain Phoebus. Yeah, I fought with him. Oh, yeah, love the Duke, man. Fifth Infantry. Christoph Third. I can always tell an army man. I never yes. trusted that bell ring. Absolutely, sir. Crooked body breeze, crooked mind. Yes, My mother always told me that. <laughs> yeah. My mother always told me never to trust a woman who uses a handkerchief. But a church <laughs> hiding him and her is disgusting. Yeah, then let us do something about it. Yeah. I lost a friend and the church is hiding his murderer. He's hiding and him. on my life, that gypsy will be hung. Yeah. Yeah. The marble of kings, saints, bishops, monsters, demons. Do not scare me. The saints are friends. 
bless me. Monsters guard me. He real himself. Scuttles through. Is he here? Where's he taking her? I move forward to speak father, but don't. You don't see me. There are crowds of angry people outside the cathedral. I know there are crowds. I just came through them. Where is he? No one's seen him. Well, if he's inside the cathedral, then find him. Find her. And let us contain this madness. Yes, Archdeacon. But first, bolt the door. These people shall not pass. Sanctuary's been declared. The people will not offend the church. Yet if they do, I'd rather have a bolted door to protect me. He stands a moment. Sniffing air. Does not see me. I crawl on knees until I find what I'm seeking and return. I put package at feet of her. I retreat. She looks me. Looks me. She has not flinched from my face. My, my, my face, yet she unwraps the cloak. Scared of it. These are. This is clothing for me. Yes. She, she looks at the body. She has. She colours. The prison rags do not contain her. She unwraps the cloak. I have food. I bring food. Why would you? Why have you done this? Outside. Not safe. They would kill you. I want to know why you've done this. You are good. Kind. You gave me water. You saved my life because I gave you water. I sleep here. If they come, I wake first. Paris is on its knees. They say 2,000 slept in the square last night. The deceased was clearly a popular man. Ask them about the Batman, they'll tell you. Ooh. He hit me, Sarge. As well, he might. Listen, men, your negligence has bred your saving. We need all the soldiers we can get. Control these imbeciles. Thank you, sir. We won't let you down this time. You're both to be busted to street crew, assigned to the square. Keep it under control. We will do our best, sir. You will do better than that. <laughs> I watch you sleep. I th thought it'd not harm you to have me watch. My face frightened you. You woke, saw my face. You forgot my face. You do not frighten me. I was dreaming of Phoebus's death. I have no breakfast for you. I'm not hungry. But I have present. <laughs> Two presents. But you only keep one. <laughs> Is this a game? And I show her flowers. Two pots, one beautiful vase. Dead and dying flowers. Other plain Ugly vase with beautiful flowers. She looks at them and me. I'm just a dancer, but I understand your game. No. I know who he was, what he was. I know he was a pretty vase and underneath was, but I loved him all the same. Which isn't to say I couldn't love a plain vase. I just don't. Yes. Do you know much about women, Cosimodo? No. 
Nor do I. Nor men neither. People are strange to me. They don't make sense. I dance for money. I entertain them. But I don't understand them. The cathedral is not big enough to hide you. They will find us. Today, I go to my father. Is he a good man? Yes. Then all will be well. Yes. And I pick up beautiful flowers in plain part and leave her be. I'm watching the people outside. Have you seen them? Yes. You think they all knew and loved Captain Phoebus? I suspect not. Yet they all spent the night out on the street. Yet they are all angry. Why? Well, the same reason any crowd gets angry. Entertainment denied. Righteous indignation pricked. You prevented them an execution. She killed an officer of the king. May I ask why you denied them? I did not want her to die. As always, the simplicity of your responses is your greatest strength. Take me to her. Yes, but... But? But this time, I did not catch her, her for you. I saved her for her. We could not find you last night. No. Were you hiding from me? Do you trust me? Yes, you are my father. He turns, looks me closely, like a fly and spike. Then take me to her. It's been days, and these people are still here. They came for an execution. They'll wait until they get one. It's the Duke that's leading them. With a tankard in his hand. Mm, I like the look of that, the Duke. But he's only a lieutenant, not like my Captain Phoebus. She is not looking. She stands with back, her body black against the window. You must be the gypsy girl. She turns. Her face drops. His eyes fire. You! You! You recognize me? I don't believe we've met. I'm the archdeacon of this cathedral, and as such, your protector. Quasimodo, this, this, this is a man. This I am Quasimodo's father. He is aware who I am. I should rip your eyes from their socket. I move quick. Catch her before she attacks. My father looks her than me. This? This is who you'd have me protect? He is the one! He killed my famous Quasimodo, you must believe me. You are mistaking me for another Oh, gypsy. I know who you are. I know what you are. I should throw you to the wall. I would gladly go if I could pull you down with me. You whore! No! No! You must not! No! No! Lock her away, Quasimodo. If she squeals, then break her and leave her to the rats. She is crying. I... I... That is your father. How great. I owe him myself. My life. Then yours is a cheap life. That man is the devil's whore. No. <laughs> He killed Phoebus and would have let me hang for it. No! Yes, he is and he did. Now will you please leave me be? George, Guillaume, you are policing this rabble, no? Yes, sir. And I think we both want the same thing. An end to this nonsense and a dead gypsy girl. Am I wrong? No, sir. 
So why don't you use your powers to get us inside and get that girl? Talk to your superiors, bring an end to this stupidity. We are just here to keep order, sir. We have no powers. But... I'm it... sorry, sir. We can't help you. We will get her. Do you understand this? We will get her. Good day, gentlemen. What a charming man. He touched my shoulder. I felt darkness pass through me. You don't think... They won't storm the cathedral, will they? We have neither the manpower nor the... It's simple. If they do, we will let them. Archdeacon, I have a message from the Lord Bishop. I'd heard you'd made it through the crowd. I'm quite impressed. Was quite a crowd. What does the Lord Bishop want? He had prophesied by you, I believe. The numbers on the square would decrease with time. We underestimated their fury. All for this girl? Yes, the gypsy, a sinful creature without a friend in the world. Spare for my bell ringer. The bishop has sent word that he is concerned. As well he might be. This was a commissioned officer she was tried for. I am aware of that. I don't like your tone. A decorated captain. Well, a liar, a drunk and a gambler. He is a sad loss. The bishop wants this matter resolved. The Lord Bishop asks whether you will find an answer, Archdeacon. What answer shall I give him? I was a great man. Oh, you. I was happy, pure. My soul was filled with light. Priests consulted me on chastity, doctors on... Cosimodo! Doctors. Cosimodo, are you there? Ah! Listen, woman, do not interrupt me. I will no, be obeyed. Do not hit me. Church. I will not be hit by you. Ah! No! No! <laughs> There! A belt in your mouth. You are quiet! You must listen! I was a scientist. But still, a man. More than once, my flesh was thrilled as a form passed by, but... Fasting, prayer, study, the macerations of the cloister again made the spirit ruler of the body. I shunned women by force of will. And then, one day, I was leaning on the window of my cell. I heard the sound of a tambourine. I glanced to the square. What I saw there, a creature was dancing, a creature so beautiful that God would have preferred her to the Virgin. <coughs> her eyes black and lustrous, hair raven, her face, her body. <coughs> I was no longer my own master. Misery! What misery? How to stop that descent into hell? I, I, I learned all I could of you. I, I studied you in a gypsy. How could I doubt the witchcraft? Ah! Oh, girl. Have pity on me. You think you're unhappy? You've no idea what misery is! To love a woman? To love her with your soul and to know that with that love comes damnation. The torture, the torture is now. I cannot. 
I must have you. Do you understand that? I must have you. No, shush, shush, shush. I'm going to strip you now. And then this sickness. Will... No! No! Quasimodo! No! How long have you. She been... is good! She has bewitched me. I, I, I need this for a cure. She's made me weak. I don't. I can't. I must. If you must. Then. Kill me first. What? I cannot see you hurt her. Love her. This is... You're... You're absurd. How dare you threaten me with your own life? I am ready to die. You don't... He turns, looks her... Her mouth, eyes wet with sweat, tears. Madam, you will see me again. He looks back at me, red, angry. He lives room. I left on cathedral steps. Church took children not wanted. Found homes. When father found me, was crowd over me, poking, laughing. No one would have me. I would have no home, so father took me, took books, me numbers, gave me pearls. They would have put me in bag, I dropped in sail, he gave life to me, and that's, I will not hurt him for you, you just keep him away. She looks at me a moment, tears on her face, and then nods gently. Do not buy me as I remove the skag. We will not stay here in case demon returns to him. Do not ask me to leave you alone again. I will not do that. You love me? Yes. Then I will follow you wherever you want to go. You are the Duke? Who needs to know? It is no matter who I am. I have something for you. This is a gift. Well, some cloth. Fine embroidery. Thank you, old man, but a blanket keeps me warm enough. This is not some cloth. This is the blessed sacrament of Notre Dame Cathedral. Do you understand what that means? No. The cathedral is no longer a place of sanctuary if the sacrament is removed. The sacrament has been removed. I give it to you. Yes. With it, you can invade the cathedral without fear of reprisal. Oh. I know who you are. You conducted my friend's funeral. You are Archdeacon Frollo. Why would you... He's gone. Christoph! Christoph! Leduc. Assemble a group of the lowest deviants you can find. I have a cloth, a cloth that will prove better than a key. We hide here. Oh, these are beautiful. I have names for them. They are three. <laughs> I hoped they would be. They are Josette. Edith, Marie, 
Freddy, my favorite. <laughs> there are 15. Maddie, only when I hear. She made me deaf. But I love her. You do love them. I can hear it. I know not people, the names. I'm not calling you stupid. Just admiring your love. Marie is very fine. This engraving. <gasps> what is that noise? Check what it is. Check. Come back quickly. I ask you. Not to ask me. To me. This is for safety. This is for me. I need to know who's making such noise. Oh! One more time, you savage thieves. One more time and then the cat will have its prey. Take all the gold to Cloisters. Lock yourself inside. They're coming for the girl, Archdeacon. Take the gold. Get to Cloisters. Now! Now! Should do, George. You said nothing, Willem. We agreed nothing. I liked that girl. I hated that man. We can't just let him kill her. We were gonna kill her. George, I am a useless jailer. I'm an even worse soldier, and I can't even hold my breath for very long. I'd like to be a good man. And you'll be a good man with me. Whatever you think, Willem, whatever you think. As the door cracks, I see them. Splitting the oak. Charging into my home. Search for her. Search everywhere. Search high, search high. I do, high. and I... Why, it is the bell ringer. two nights in the coal, cos of you. What do we do now? We look for her, George. We try and find them before they do. This feels like a war zone. Look for the girl, George. Your people are ruining my church. They are people. They aren't mine. These... A sacred object. Sooner we find her, sooner this is over. Look, try the bell tower. There are many rooms. He is trying to hide her from me, too. Thank you, Archdeacon. One man has my legs, another my shoulders. Ah! Another pokes my ribs. Oh! They're all over me. All around me. But I do not submit. Oh. Uh, they, oh. Then I see my father talking to talking to a man in his uniform. And I know what he's done. And I watch him extreme, up towards the spire of the cathedral where he can be safe. Oh. And, 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 as I weaken, so they overpower. Cosimodo, are you? You are gone. I am alone. Phoebus, I am alone. I think they come for me. Oh. You will not take me! Take her arm. Control her arms. I am not to be taken. Cosimodo! Oh. Oh. Cosimodo! Him, him like a <laughs> I'm tied up. I feel like a child again. On my father's knee. Unable to wriggle. Oh. Wriggle away. <laughs> They are 
whipping me. They are holding me. There, George. There she is. I s see her. Took them from the stairs. She has bruises on her face. They have beaten her. They've got her. Good, you found her. We'll tie the rope over that beam. Fetch me one of those kneeling stools. Release her. Release her this instant. We are soldiers. Soldiers? <laughs> You're barely men. Kill them. No. Get her. George. George. Oh. Quit her. Whatever you think I have done, I have not. You have a pretty face for a murderer. Fetch me the stool. Fetch me that stool. Sir. Am I to die here? Yeah. Very well. And she is saying, singing, her lips moving. And I tried to push towards her. I tried and push. I feel ropes. Listen, and they are loose, and I'm throwing people out the way, moving fast towards her. But they have the rope around her neck. They have a rope around the neck. And then I hear her. And then I can hear her like that no one else in the room. And I'm trying to get through to her. Pushing people off! But there isn't time! She looks at me! She looks at me in the last moments before they kick the stool from under her! She looks at me! And, and she and she <laughs> Is she dead? Yes, Lieutenant. Then cut down her body and dispose of it. I need out of this. Whoa! I reach him as he starts for the exit. I smash his head against the... He moves no more than with blood in my hands. I pick Esmeralda. She knows who stopped me. He is st standing with his back to me. He turns around slowly. I lay her body on the ground before him. Like he sacrificed her. You have brought her here. What will you do with a body up here? I came where I thought you'd be. How is our church? Broken. Yes. It was you! All of it! I am your father, Cosimodo. Whatever you think, I'm... 
Whatever I have done, I, I could throw you from this roof. Yes, you could. I could. What kind of man threatens his own father? The one that you made. No, no, I made a good man. Whatever else, I made you good. I lift him and pin him against the parapet. He can feel air. Air of outside on skin. His skin. Air of world that is so far below. Uh, no. No. You need me, Quasimodo. You can't do this, this to me. This is good. I am good. I took you in when no one else would. Now put me down. Put me down right now. You see Paris? All of Paris! Thou shalt not kill. You broke that first. Why? Why were you weak? I don't know. I wish I hadn't been but caught in Mona. I lift him over the side of the cathedral. I have wet my robes. I do not care. I do love you. No. You are my son. No. Yes. I'm not saying this to save my life. You are mine. I didn't expect to love you, but I do. I made you my son. Father! Don't fuck your father into sin. Please don't. He reaches up hand, taking it from Tom where he had cling to. Knowing he is in my power now, he touches my face softly. And father touches the face of his son. He says nothing. His grey eyes. I let him go. I sip with her, her body, f for a day, a night, another day, then in darkness I carry her th through Paris, I carry No one sees me. And I dig. Lay her into a grave. Beside a tree. No one sees. And then I now I am here, and it is me, and it is you, and I'm tired now, and you are dead. <laughs> And Paris is so quiet. <laughs> and I have left the walls of my home. Because it's not my home. I will make here my home. 
here with you. I am 22 years old. I have lived no life. All the life I had was with you. So, I will sleep now. Beside you. Over you. You will not come to harm me longer. You will not. Because I won't leave you again. However much you ask me. Digging up the graveyard. There's nothing sacred anymore. There's nothing sacred? Ten years ago, we saw ruffians kick down the door of Notre Dame. Nothing is sacred. Ten years? Has it been ten years? Mm. Well, I need to put plague victims somewhere. If that means digging up graveyards, move aside few bones. If it's for greater good. Oh, look. Hmm? There. What? But they stopped. Yeah, man, he's crying. Oh, what can you see? My eyes are not what they used to be. Eh? And they never were much. Two skeletons. Eh? They're crying over two skeletons. <laughs> one normal, one... Well, well, not. And the deformed skeleton is laying on top at normal. As if protecting like a... Well, like a dog in its owner. Well, protecting from what? What's the skeleton protecting the other from? Well, everything, I suppose, sister. Everything. Quasimodo was played by David Bauer, Esmeralda by Candice Nergard, Frollo, Kevin Doyle, Le Duc, Roger Morlidge, George, Gary Robson and Guillaume, Terence Mann. Madame Poutine was played by Susan Twist and Madame Lafayette by Rita May. The Hunchback of Notre Dame was dramatised for radio by Jack Thorne and developed in association with Grey Eye Theatre Company and directed in Manchester by Susan Roberts.